You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it is bank time. I hope you enjoy banks because, well, actually, I know you enjoy the banks because on the last video, you told me so. So I have been waiting to get three banks in my collection here to show you the next group. Once I got this one was the most recent edition, I said, all right, time for a bank video. So when you get to the end of the video, I'll put a poll up. You tell me which one you like the best after I show you all three. And then if you can, also share it on social media or give the video a thumbs up. It would really help. So let's do this. Before I explain each bank, let's come back, check out Frontier Safe, and I'll go one by one, and we'll check them all out. All right, here is the first one. Now there is a coin slot on the top. And then, as you can see, it says Frontier Safe. There's the instructions for opening on the bottom, but they are torn. And here is where it's from, distributed by Five Below. So it's a Five Below bank. I didn't even realize that. And then you would think now with the dial that you would be able to put in a combination, but you can't on this bank. What you do is you just turn it to the spot where it opens, which is right there. So that is 15. So when a number is on 15, you know you can open the bank. Watch, 15. How simple is that? And there really isn't much more to it. The inside is just open, but we will still drop some coins in just so we can hear that sound. By the way, let me get a tray out here and show you some more coins. Now, a lot of these are different from the last few times that I've done these videos, so hopefully we can find a nice coin nugget in here, something older, kind of like the family coin jar, you know. I see some dimes, so let me try to break out some nickels, dimes, pennies, and quarters. These are all newer, nothing older here. Usually I can find some wheat pennies, so let's set those there. Yeah, might as well just put them all in. I got three banks to go through, so we'll just push a bunch of change in them and see how they work. All right, let's see. So basically, such a simple bank, but I'm still gonna show it to you. So we could hear the sound as it clings and clangs as your change goes in. Let's put in this quarter. Let's put in a nickel, a dime. They all kind of make a unique sound. Ooh, the penny and the dime are really close. Right, let's see what else we got here. No real old quarters, 1982. Let's see, there's an old one. Let's see what this is, 1992. I don't think I have any old change in here. I thought I might have a few nice ones. 1996, that's not bad. Okay, and this is 1996. And this is quarter dollar. Can't tell the year on that one. Hmm, definitely a newer one. All right, maybe I can find this a wheat penny in here somewhere. Okay, I don't see any. Wow. All right. Ooh, this looks like an older quarter. Usually the dirtier ones. Nope. 1995. All right. So basically, very simple bank. You just kind of turn it to 15, open it up, and then get your coins out of it. Takes a little while to shake them out, though. So since there's no bottom release on this, you kind of got to... Okay, there we go. All right, that one's pretty simple, but you still might like it because it looks like a safe. So let's move in the Bart Simpson one here. This will be bank number two. Now this one here, I've had for well over a year. Just never thought, hmm, should I bring Bart Simpson into a video? Why not? I've shown some Simpson stuff, especially Happy Meal toys, so there isn't much to it. Let's see what it says. Uh, Wesco, made in China, 2002 Fox. This one opens up by twisting that to get your change out. And it is pretty neat because the coins travel down and it's like a uh, skateboard area. Like the stairs, the coins should poop, but I don't know how it's gonna sound. I've never really tried the bank, here we go. Let's just try with the lightest of coins, the dime, here we go. Okay, Ooh, not as exciting as I thought. I thought I'd get some kind of sounds. Okay, where's another nickel? I don't have many nickels. Where did my nickel go? I know I dropped one in here. Ah, there it is, I have one nickel. 
It is kind of neat how it hits Bart's skateboard and then flips him around. I do like the quarter of the best. So let me drop a bunch of quarters down and see. Oh, I missed. That's pretty cool, huh? And it's got that little jump at the end. And right here you got stale fish grab. I think that's what it says. S T A L E. Hmm. That must be one of his own tricks. I have no idea. Skateboarders out there can tell me if that is a real trick. If I'm even reading it right. And now I just noticed that Bart Simpson has a little pant problem there. Here, let me zoom in a little closer. Ooh, it's stuck. Went on the wrong side of the skateboard. Oh, no. There we go. Let's put more pennies down. Now, of course, if you want to get your coins out. Well, oh, that was cool. I sent two down at a time. Ooh, stuck. Let's see if it knocks it out. No. Oh, now I've got a real jam. All right, let me open this up. So now you would just take this, get all your coins out. Let's see if we loosen up. Okay, all loosened up now. Everything's out. And that's really it to this one. There isn't much more. Probably a little more technical, of course, than the safe one. There we go. All right, so that is all the coins. And then the last one is the xj7 i'm gonna take a quick break here collect my coins and then i will uh, come right back okay last but not least i'm ready to see how this one works since it's sorts sadly i only have one nickel so we'll see if that falls in the right compartment now this sounds pretty official the xj7 vector coin sorter acceleration ramp coin slot tension bar automatic coin sorter and then you do the quarters nickels pennies dimes Removable tray at the bottom, sorts them all into individual compartments. Now it was originally $6.99, marked down to $2.99. I bought this at like a little mom and pops gift shop, kind of household items. Let's just get this out of the box and see what it's all about. Here we go. All right, this is the way it goes. Ah, very colorful. Very cool looking. I like the colors. I'm not sure what the mathematical symbols. It's like F equals M A R spring tension mass times acceleration. It's pretty neat that you can see through it. Oh, that said remove before use because it looks like there's little bearings in these to kind of add a little tension. Pretty interesting looking little Sorter. All right, let's just see this. I only have one nickel, but let me start with a dime. So the dime should go based on this in the far right tray. Here we go. Insert. Okay, now what's telling it to sort? Penny. All right, so it's something inside. Oh man, my one nickel. I lost it again. Did I leave it in that other bank? Oh, here it is, the one nickel. Okay, and then the quarter. All right, so what's going on here? Let's turn this one around. It's gotta be somewhere in here that's telling it to switch. Let's just see, let's take this out. This is kinda nice. And let's look inside. Okay, there you go. So there is a slot and the back of the slot there's an opening behind each one that has the size so that's why the smallest one is first okay that makes sense now let's just drop some more and i really like that it's see-through and i really like the colors it's pretty neat all right let's load this thing up here here we go i'll we'll just see if it keeps track the right way okay pennies Dimes. Now, 
let me take you right in there so you can kind of see the action that's going on. And then let me see, maybe you need a little bit more light there to brighten that up. How's that? Okay. So now you see what's happening. Now it looks like those little trays hold quite a bit, so let's load them up a little bit more. Interesting, so when this presses down, this kicks it back up, so that kicks it out. See that? All right, let's see if everything's sorted out correctly. Okay, here we go. Let's get that lighting down just a little bit. Don't want it so bright. And everything looks to be, oh, pennies in the dimes. There are two pennies in the dimes. These two are in there. Okay, so I guess there can be a little mix up there, but either way, I think it still looks and works pretty cool. There isn't much more to that one, but I think it's the best out of all of them. I have to say, I'm going to say, you know what I'm going to say, that's my favorite. All right, so here we go in the order you saw them. Bank number two and bank number three. So let me know which one you like the best. You know which one I like the best in the comments. And as I get more banks, of course, I will show them to you. I do have two or three more of the older ones. I just can't find where they went, which bin they're in in my collection. Regardless, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you can, please share it on social media. Give the video a thumbs up. Anything you do to help Lucky Penny Shop would be really appreciated. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up!